Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Minecraft on West Hill, no, on the Citadel in West Hill, working on the medieval fantasy city. Now we're gonna pick up right where we left off. Inventory is still full <laughs> from last time. So we're just gonna jump right back in on this stone riverbank house here. And uh, I think the few things we have to do today are figuring out what's happening with the landscaping, uh, also finalizing, we finished the balcony, I think. And we were working on, I think, the top floor. Yes, yeah, we were putting windows and stuff and door frames up here. It's too bad I can't, I don't have enough room to complete this, this floor here to make it just be a small opening, but I think we'll... We'll get by. I'm not so sure about this line here. That's the tower. And that's going to be, I think, the top floor here. Yeah, I think that's that line right there. Yeah. So if we want to keep this as a high ceiling up here, we have to maybe decide if we're going to keep this line. Or if we're going to bring bring it down a bit. We could bring it down. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Darth Lord Josh, good to see you. Cosmic and Dan, of course, hanging out in the chat. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Right, so I guess the thing is um, making sure that this looks good from the outside. you know i think that's fine uh i think i may want to push this a little farther farther out the front or raise it a bit i find that the the point where we expand the roof here is a little bit low i might want to push that a little bit higher i think a good example is over here we go we go up like two or three blocks before we start going out cloudy max hello yeah same here we go up quite far before we go out so maybe we'll give that a go i thought i was going to like it but right now it's if for whatever reason it feels funny right there, I think we just need to change it to be up a bit. So let's just try it on this side. First, I guess we should dump some stuff out of our inventory. I uh, don't need that. Oh, that's full. Let's go that there. actually not so bad Thought we had more more issues okay Oh, that's going to hit the roof, isn't it? All right, never mind. So yeah, we came out here. And I think what I need to do is do this at that level. Oh no, that's to make any sense. Here. Hey, 
Hey, Lamb Chop, how's it going? Quality, welcome in. Lamb Chop, subscribing for 35 months. That is a hair short of three years. Wow. Thank you so much. Always great to have you along. All right, so that's the shift, which means this is going to change. Whoop, that's the wrong block. All right, let's just fly over here. I feel like that looks better than the other way we had it. That's the angle there. Which means we can change that back. Mm, do I like the new way? When did I start this world? 2017? And then this area was 2020, 2020, yeah, 2020 for, I think this farm right there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do both. We'll have to test it with both. I thought I was going to be able to tell with just one, but not sure. That's annoying. Can I meet in the middle and go halfway, maybe? Oh, I like that. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's do slight variation. Yeah, I think that works better. Always fun when you can use that that funny little tweak that a stair does when it just gives you the one the one stair. You can pull that off, I think it works. You might have to keep that. Yeah, okay, so we gotta turn this back. Now, do I have this symmetrical? Yep, it's just that I need to put in there, there, the block here. 
Oh no, that's supposed to be a full block. Yeah, I think that works better. I like to put a, a blue lantern on a chain up there, I think. Oh yeah, that's nicer. Perfect, okay. Uh, let's get a chain and a lantern. And I think I did this something similar on these ones where I hung it from a stair and it looked okay. Yeah. So just one chain and then the lantern. One chain and then the lantern. I'm probably going to go with two chains on this big build. Darth Lord Josh, I really appreciate the lurk. No worries. No worries about lurking, folks. I um, loaded ready run when they were on our podcast. They said that they liked having their stream considered as a second monitor stream. And I thought that's awesome. You know, like it takes the pressure off you, the streamer, and it means that more people can watch, like they don't have to stop what they're doing to watch. Yeah, so we're gonna go here. Maybe even one more. Wow, oh yeah, at least that long. Did I do the same thing over here? Yeah, I did the same thing over here. Oh, there we go, right. So we could we could potentially make this look a little bit cooler too. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. I just know I wanted some sort of light source at the front there. We need to do something to change the front of it. It's far, far too plain. And I think I want these to look darker, but we don't really have anything outside of putting in like more furnace. I don't know what we could do to darken the edges. That to me just starts to repeat too much, unless we did the whole thing as furnace. That's just too busy. That would be cool, except for we would use that in the roof. Cube K9, hello, welcome in. <clears throat> do, 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 do. What do we have that could be dark? Assuming basalt is going to be too purple and not look like stone. We could go the other way. We could go lighter and use, um, use, uh, and, uh, not andesite, um, acacia.
but I think I want this to have more of a stone vibe to it. Yeah, definitely not the acacia. I wonder if I can get away with just regular deep slate bricks. You know, that could work. I'm really tempted to do like a on it, but then I, I don't think it'll look good with the windows. No. We may have to push the um, the terracotta to to the attic and go with um, deep slate all the way to there. If we start moving in some cracked bricks here and there, I think it'll work. Don't know if we can do the chiseled. A little bit too dark and foreboding. Maybe we can do all of them that way. No. See, like, that's even a different color. Like, that doesn't look like it's deep slate at all. Uh, what's the wood cutter? Oh, that's for uh, tables and chairs. Do we have them kicking around? Um, we've got a tables and chairs data pack by Chuck Chuck. Yeah, that. So it makes... We've got custom models that I made that make things look very vanilla. Uh, and then I think Chuck Chuck took inspiration from that and made a, a set of models that also look very vanilla. The idea is that like it's not a crazy texture. It's just a plank texture, but it's made on very simple looking wooden chair. I find it helps quite a bit when you're making a town like this. I think that looks good. I think we'll have to maybe work in more deep slate. So I think while I was trying to be different with all this terracotta, I've got a funny feeling that we're going to have to have the line right here.
Yeah, and then I think we'll have to do some sort of deep slate brick thing here. I don't know, that won't work. Well, we could go up one higher. That's the floor though. not bad I think we can make some adjustments to that to make it look better I'm concerned though that it's changed the way that the attic looks inside or attic I'm not sure what you want to call it well it's not terrible not terrible having that there so we could we could play around with that I would change probably the front part of this a bit though to be bigger all slabs We could almost pull that down farther. What if we, I've never done this before. Pignet, thanks. Ping the net, sorry. Whoops. So if we do that, we'd have to get rid of this. And that's fine. It looks a little chunky. Probably stairs instead for those. It's probably better. I like that though. It feels like a very heavy building. So before we get too carried away, I should think about how we're going to handle the window decor. I imagine probably some spruce shutters would be good, unless we do glass. trapdoors. So one way to do it would be just putting wooden shutters in the windows like this. Or and that would work okay in here. Or we could put in a number of I'm guessing that these are going to be too light.
Yeah. I really wish that glass panes kind of lined up with trapdoors. I mean, I know that doesn't make any sense, but I guess it would be really cool if glass panes could be lined up on other points in the block, but I understand why they don't. Like, I understand why they're in the middle because it does give you this nice depth, like when you want that, but you can't put a glass pane on the top or bottom there and do half and half because, of course, the, the trapdoor doesn't line up. That's a no on the light gray, I think. Gray might not be able to be seen at all. I find the gray just kind of disappears most of the time in Minecraft. Yeah, you can sort of see it. This is where when you're building much bigger and you can actually have like a wall that's two blocks deep becomes a much bigger advantage because then you can add in your blocks. One of the things I think I'll do before I finish West Hill is um, create a stained glass texture pack, like a custom one. Ah, it was a shot. Worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Uh, the other thing I want to try is the combo of both colors. I find that the grays and whites and stuff in glass, they're just not close enough together that you can really blend them. No, then that just looks like a half open window. That's right, we'll do um we'll do shutters, but I wonder if we can maybe because we've got these two full blocks for windows and there's a lot of room over top. I wonder if we can maybe get away with something like this. Any other textures you'd like to rework? Um, bamboo, when it comes out. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe we use the trapdoors as the shutters and then I actually put in like a, a full a full deep slate block is like a window shutter or a window awning, I guess it would be technically. Probably means we have to remove that. Stairs are so much faster than scaffolding. Because then we could have this in here like that. Or the other way around. Might be worth doing a dark oak one. Just to see what that would look like. Yeah, yeah, bamboo is not very not very good in terms of texture. It they I it really frustrates me because like I know there are artists that work at Mojang and I know that they understand how everything goes together with color color harmony and yet they choose these block colors that just make absolutely no sense.
or what's worse is they get close you know like they make it kind of yellowy beige but then they add too much green to it it's like well you started to make it beige <laughs> why did you add the green and i think there's a lot of like you'll hear it sometimes in response they'll say like uh well, that's what it looks like in real life. It's like, that's fine, but Minecraft is a cartoony game. The texture doesn't have to look like it really looks like in real life. It's like hay bales in Minecraft. Hay bales in Minecraft are probably very much what a dirty, muddy hay bale looks like on a farm. But it looks like crap. It looks like snot in vanilla Minecraft. So I change them. And do I have any? Because I'll... I don't think I have any on me right now. But... Oh, there you go. So I changed them and I made them look like what you'd seen a Disney cartoon, you know, dried hay bales. <laughs> I've seen hay bales that look like this. Not all of them do, but like, it's just, it's such a simple thing. I'm going to change the sprite on this to have a silver handle. See, that's another thing. That's a subtle change I made on the door. I changed the handle from, from gold. See my hand from gold. I made it, I made it like the hinges. I think what we do in order to maintain some depth is that we put these on the outside. And that way we could have one window open and one window shut. And I think I'm going to go with the spruce. I thought the dark oak was going to look good with the door, but I'd say stick with the spruce. And then if I do this, And when it's shut, we have a bit of an overlap. Now, I probably want to put something underneath here. Maybe we'll go with a polished deep slate. Yep. Oh, thanks. Um, Peng, you've got a um, you've got a a Discord membership attached to your your sub, and you can I think that hay bale texture is in the Discord somewhere. I should I should create a channel where it's just like me putting art files for people. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and then in here, these are covered up by the outside. So to open these up even farther inside, we could use, this is the fun part of these designs where you start to like pull different things. And then this, this whole wall takes on a different vibe because of the verticality of everything. That's cool. Uh, and then as far as the texture goes outside, I think we'll have to work in more basalt. which is always tricky. What did I put in here that's darker than basalt in those other builds? I feel like I've put in something that's a darker color. Oh, it's probably the bricks. I just realized this bridge isn't finished either. Oh, that was my face. I 
Oh, mud blocks. Maybe not the mud, but maybe the basalt. Smooth basalt might work too. Inventory problems. So, Gasm, thanks very much. Uh, no worries that you can't stay. Lurks are always welcome. And thanks for popping by to say hi just the same. Okay, doors. Don't need those right now. Don't need those. Hard on this scale. Man, basalt sounds like a creeper. Listen to this. See that? Hear that? Hear that little whoosh at the end of the placement? It sounds like the beginning of a creeper fuse. <laughs> I don't know whether they did that on purpose, but I dislike it. <laughs> Dislike it a lot. I think maybe we save the tough for much higher up. If at all. Yeah, it looks really good tucked up underneath that, that ridge there. That works. I might want to put one more in. Might be able to pull it off between the windows. Kind of thing that probably looks better from farther away. And it does up close. And now we just need to pepper in a little bit more. Oh, you know what? We could, uh, well, no, it's by the window. Let's just see. Boop, 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 boop. I could try putting basalt here, maybe.
Yeah, you know what? That, that works. I think that's better than the, the light. Um, tough that we had going on. Yeah, you know what? I think that's a solid texture plan. I think that works. I think that works. All right, so we'll do that on the other side as well. So we'll have to bring up... That removes all of the terracotta on this side. Ginger the Lily raiding with a party of 36. Holy nuggets. Thanks so much, Ginger. Welcome in, folks. Ginger, I'm sure you were playing Minecraft, but what, what were you doing? What were you up to today? This is where I have to decide if I want to keep this window. So for folks just coming in with Ginger's raid, my name is Joel Duggan. I'm sure you've figured that out. Co-host and produce the Spawn Chunks with Johnny with Pixel Riffs. Stream here on Twitch several days a week. And I have another show called the Citadel Cafe. Was building a boat at Aldabar's base. It's almost finished. Very, very cool. Uh, you'll see folks in chat that uh, I believe Cosmic gave a shout out for Ginger. You can go follow Ginger on Twitch. Uh, I need rockets. The masked balaclava. Thanks very much for the follow. Kenzie Kate. Pony Histon. Appreciate the follows. Welcome in. All right, so now we can just go upstairs and yeah, so, oh, I didn't get the thing that I needed to put in all of this. This side is going to be difficult. Um, so let's just maybe tuck in. Another mud block there. A window, so maybe we can do a polished bit. Gonna head off now and sleep for a bit as I'm still recovering from a nasty cold. Oh no, Ginger, that sucks. I hope you're feeling better and um, good that you get some rest. I find streaming as chill as it is can be tiring when you're not feeling well, so I appreciate it. Hope everybody is glad that you did a stream today anyway. And we'll see you later.
I was going to wait and put that much higher, wasn't I? I'm picking around. What I really need is more, more cobbled deep slate. I guess I could also use like regular deep shape. Oh no, I didn't catch Ginger's resub. Sorry, thanks very much, Cosmic. I appreciate that. Uh, Ginger, I hope you're still here. Um, 32 months. Holy smoke. Ginger, thank you very much for the tier one. I think what happened was it came in at the same time in the raid and I probably both both notifications probably played at once but uh, ginger thank you ever so much for both the raid and for the sub now everybody wag their finger at ginger and tell them to go get better soon rest up have some ginger tea or something but i'm here all week folks matinees on thursdays half price seniors on sundays Cobble deep slate and what about regular deep slate? Can I use regular deep slate anywhere? On the front, it doesn't, it's not necessarily needed, but. No, because the texture changes. I remember that now. The texture changes direction. That's another kind of inconsistency. Someone was asking about stuff that I'd like to tweak. That kind of stuff is annoying. When it's got like a texture direction of one thing on one side and one thing on the other, like that looks one way and that looks another. Like they don't line up. And then the top of it, Right? It matters which way. Right? So this, there's the rules don't make any sense. Right? Like, that's a cool texture, but I can't get that unless I place it on the side of something. I could just, yeah. It's inf that's why I don't use it, because it's in infuriating. Like, just give me a block with rules. And that's the thing that I find with those colors that are, you know, they get so close with when they're choosing. Um, when they're when they're choosing a, a block texture and then they just they tweak it or they make some change. It's like, well, this was almost useful. It's really cool that it's new and you can't get angry for them adding a new block. But then you're just like, but <laughs> you had it so close to being exactly what we wanted and then you changed it. Or you didn't quite get there. I don't know what we could use in here that would be darker than mud.
change that around. See how that kind of makes the corner look dark? I like messing with stuff like that. I find it fun. Oh, I would totally change Blackstone. I would make it black instead of purple. And it, well, even if you left the purple in, I think the problem is that you have such a nice texture, like Deep Slate, and it's a, like a modern pixel art texture. And then Blackstone looks like it was designed in 2010. You know what I mean? Like the, like the grass blocks have been updated to be much nicer and and yet they made blackstone and blackstone is it just feels like an old old minecraft block we're gonna have to break that up somehow too break time uh, not even when you're ready break time now rest your eyes that's an order yes yes indeed that worked out well because of course um ginger coming in with a raid sometimes that can be a little bit on the um on the side where if it comes in right before a break, I want to kind of hang out for a little bit longer to welcome in all the new people. But uh, for anybody that did just come in with the ginger raid, uh, what I do is I take a break once an hour and I'm going to step away, give my eyeballs a rest. And when we come back, we're just going to keep on with this texture plan. Uh, we've decided to kind of go with a bit of a gradient, like a bit of a mud, mud gradient and probably going to do some landscaping and stuff, but gets darker as it gets to the basement and then the deep slate continues up here so we're just going to keep on keeping on but i like it i i'm i'm very happy with the way that this is turning out i'm glad we switched this this is um that's better it's very bright with that i think it'll help the edge of the stone house stand out more against the thing plus that means that we can use this in there which would be much much better so all right, uh, so I'm gonna go down to the little shack here and uh, I'll step away for a bit. You all can uh, do what you need to, grab a friend, grab a snack, and we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
back to work. I mean, play. I mean, work. I, it's, it's, I mean, it's the same. It's, just, it's the same in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, it's funny because there are some things in Minecraft that feel like chores, but then they're never chores that you mind doing. It's like someone that likes vacuuming. I mean, to each their own, but, but it's still, it's similar, <laughs> right? I find it similar. Are we happy with everything in here? I'm going to bring some of these uh, salt blocks around the corner here. we have to take this out too. I have no idea what to do about this balcony. I sort of want one there, but I don't know. There are people that like vacuuming? <laughs> Maybe. Fun joke is always there are people that dislike vacuuming and weirdos. <laughs> I think I think it was like a gonzo joke or something from uh from the Muppets. Oh right, I guess this would end up being a door. Not entirely sure about that. That is something we will have to back up and test. The front was easier because the front did not have the front had like more more things to to move around. How did I do that up front? Oh, it's up one more. Right. I'm not sure yet if I'm putting window up here. We have this one, but I don't know if we're going to put windows on the end or not. I don't like vacuuming, but I don't have carpet anymore. I've got I've got um, laminate floors. I don't mind sweeping. Sweeping is like an easy chore. Sweeping, especially with like a moderate size apartment, like it takes 10 minutes and it's probably the easiest thing 
to make your apartment feel way cleaner than it was, you know, like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Very different than like scrubbing a bathroom or like taking 30 minutes to do all the dishes or well, 30, 20, maybe. All right. We, so we didn't do this kind of like change in thickness on the other side. Why does that look so dumb? Oh, I remember. I brought it down. I remember what I did now. Did I make it? What? Oh my gosh, I made that. <laughs> I did not think. That was my toenails on the edge of that. <laughs> yeah, this is too high. Those and those are solid blocks. And we brought this down by one. Nope, I did not want to fall off. Pro skills. <laughs> why why are we spelling skills with a Z? Is that where we're, where we are now as a people? We may need to make this balcony out of wood to balance everything out. So the way that I like to think about this kind of stuff is the sun kind of rises and sets in this direction. So there'd be a lot of sun hitting the face of this, but this would shadow everything. So I'm thinking Places like here. And probably like here would get faded. And maybe up here too. Where did I put right? I love jumping off of things and gliding without having to use your rockets. Very useful. Okay, so the, that doesn't work. Maybe we'll bump that down one. Move that up there. I don't like that either. Can I do it again? Oh. Okay. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that.
It wasn't even better landing. Pro skills with an S. <laughs> that should be the whole whole hashtag. Pro skills spelled correctly, but then with an S. <laughs> That's the whole hashtag. That's pretty funny. I mean, hashtags and Twitch don't really, they're just meme -y. They don't really mean anything, but still. It does really stand out there, doesn't it? Maybe we need another one over there. I'll balance it out a bit. I mean, I hit the door, but still, it worked. I think it looks okay. I think what's messing me up is the is the door being such a weird looking, weird looking thing. Let's uh, take a look at this side here. I think it needs something. We either run a vine up it from this bush. I don't know that it needs a window, you know? I think I might be okay without, without it having a window because it really wouldn't look at much, right? Like you'd just be looking at this, this tower. There's already a window there. So if we did have a window, we'd have to kind of center it probably. I guess we could do that. We could put like a single too high window off center to try and help out with, with that. Where is this window here? 91.80. Yeah, and then maybe we can even have a vine from this like snake up between them and help with that kind of level of texture we've got going on up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Grab some bushes real quickly just to kind of throw that idea up there. We'll get it tighter later on, but just to kind of... I like when you have ideas like this, it's good to kind of like throw in a quick sketch of what you might want. Yeah, that's better than the square window that I had there for sure. And we can mess around with how that looks and where it goes and stuff later. Yeah, I agree, Cosmic. I think the Maya's going to look good. I'm going to put tough at the top there. I think that's pretty good. And then the rest of this, we can just pepper in with some salt as we need to. Mm. 
Devin Scarada subscribed at tier two. Tier two. 18 months, a year and a half. That is absolutely incredible, Devin. Thank you ever so much. I really appreciate the support. I don't know if we've seen you yet this year, so hope you had a good holiday. Ah, oh, yes. It's been a while since I've been able to catch a live stream. Best wishes uh, for the new year to everyone. Well, back at you. Thanks very much. I wish basalt had a better side texture. I do really like the front texture. The side texture is a little bit to be desired. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I'd say that has a nice character to it. I really don't know what we're going to do with the floor. I feel like we might have to go with something other than just stone bricks. I went out the wrong door. Oh, and this should maybe have like a obsessed bit here. Need to go get my doors. So there will definitely be a door here, probably on this side. That looked like a creeper for a second. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm not so sure about this. If we do it, maybe it's going to be slabs. Then this side of the building we haven't changed yet to bricks. Been following the podcast for a while, but this is my first time catching the stream. Joel, do you mind flying around for me to see what you have done here? Uh, just check out the VODs on YouTube. There's lots of times, or just hang out for a bit. Eventually, I end up flying around. Um, but yeah, there's um, lots of VODs on YouTube. There might even be some clips in the channel of, uh, of recent kind of fly rounds. But the easiest way to see what we're doing here is just hang out for a bit. But thanks for listening to the Spawn Chunks. Appreciate you coming by. Probably just... That goes down here. Cool. 
And actually, now that we're down here, I think I'm going to change these to basalt. Oh, wait a minute. That might not work for in here. What could we put there? Probably a smooth result. Didn't we just sleep? Time flies in your texture and stuff, I guess. Oh, that worked out well. Nice. And last one. Cool. Uh, now, what do we do? I guess we could hide that with something. But it looks like it's more solid. Eventually, there's going to be a path here. So this is probably going to end up turning into some sort of stair. So this whole thing could be non, a non-issue if all of this is like stairs. So we'll have to see how that's going to go. Kasiva, hello. Hope you're having a good day. All right, so by removing the um, polished andesite from the corners here, that means that we're going to be able to put polished andesite. Oh, we've already used it at the bottom here. Never mind. I thought I was going to be able to put it around, but maybe we, maybe we've already done that. What about just a straight? Oops. Band all the way around. And then that's going to look a little bit funny in the stairwell unless we kind of mirror it and bring it down again. Yeah, so we'll pull this across. There. And then we'll also do it down here. It's amazing what having some consistent patterns will do. Like now all of a sudden this feels like a really solid kind of basement. And I don't think these are exposed anywhere outside. So we could even change, we could even change this if we wanted to. Yeah, like we could probably have a bit of cobble down here.
is to indicate that it's a different different thing happening below that line a kind of foundation hmm wonder if I can change that outside oh yeah yep we need some bricks love the contrast of colors between the deep slate and the stone thanks yeah this whole build has come together quite nicely. Like I've not felt like I've been struggling with anything. If that makes sense. That's consistent all the way around. So one idea that I had was to add in these andesite bricks in places so like I feel like we could probably throw anytime we want some sort of highlight I feel like throwing these guys in is really fun but you've got to be consistent with it yeah just really subtle two maybe three per side Oh, that's going to be visible up there. What if we lowered that? No, see, that's too much. So what I will do... probably change this to regular andesite and then move that back I'm not sure if anybody in chat can hear there's um, some kids out playing in my neighborhood backyard my back of my building kind of backs onto the backyard to some other people and it's a young family and uh i want to say that both kids are under four and dad is out in the backyard just whipping snowballs at them <laughs> it's pretty funny and the kids are just losing their mind um but it's pretty funny it's a very striking building thanks i appreciate that I don't I haven't really built much dark stuff, so that makes sense. Uh let's put one there. Don't know whether that's overkill for such the small side, but I think maybe we only do the one, the one polished down low, and then we'll leave that top one as a regular andesite. Looks quite different from the other buildings in the area, but doesn't feel out of place. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's a goal. I'm always trying to have things kind of feel the same. I mean, Minecraft helps you in that way, in that. You're building in this particular style you're very likely going to have things look like they they work together now do we change that 
No, because that's the outside wall there. Hmm. This is not visible. So we could just have like a one, two, three, four wide. I'm just wondering whether we want to turn the inside wall here all to deep slate. It would certainly help here when it connects to the roof. I'm betting this is going to look nicer down here if this was all deep slate. Yeah. But then if we do that, I think we have to change inside. Which is fine, because it would make sense that the tower would be like added on to the main building. Well, it's gone from cute to just screaming now. I guess you guys can hear that on the mic. It was just the two little ones and dad having fun. So sorry if there's a bit of a background noise. I'll close the window in a minute. You heard that one. Yeah. Yeah, there's always that one. Yeah, the other kids were playing pleasantly, but then the bossy kids get out and they just want to scream at one another. I'd imagine it was probably a very similar feeling for the dad that was out having a really peaceful time with his two toddlers. And then the neighbor's kids come out and just start screaming blue murder constantly. Where's the, there it is. This is the tedious part of using directional blocks is always having to find something to put it on. To be fair, nine times out of ten, my kids are that one. <laughs> so you can't complain too loudly, Cosmic, because you know that you have you've doled out a certain level of of unholy. Like it gets to the point in sometimes with the, with my neighbors that I kind of wonder whether they're having fun. You know, like they're just with that level of just Rah, all the time you're just like i are you enjoying yourself like are you are you sure you're having fun i guess it's just that level of of kid where like they just don't have the patience you know to wait for someone else to speak first before you try to chime in so then they just you know to get heard, you just have to be louder than the other kid, and then it just escalates, right? 
it's like being in a loud restaurant. Everybody's just shouting over the din, but like you kind of have to. That means we're going to have to change all this too. And we're doing the uh, recessed doors, it looked like. So we'll do there, there. Um, I guess we'll go here. I kind of want to make that a, a different color door. I feel like the exterior doors should be the dark oak and then the interior doors could maybe be the spruce. Stardust, I think it's just because it's it's distracting for me. That's why I mentioned it. There's a chance that it get picked up on mic, but usually it's just me going like, ugh. It's just nails on a chalkboard. It was fine. It was giggles for a while. And even if it was screaming, it was like excited toddler screaming, not like just shouting for the shake of s shouting. I think the the little one that was so happy, I don't even think they're old enough to talk. Like, I think they were just... You know, they just get so excited and the only thing they do is just like, ah, because <laughs> that's all they can, right? Um, oh, am I out of, yeah, I'm out of stairs. That's right. I think a small inventory reorganization is needed. I also think I might have to put that door down again if I change the floor in here. Who was it that asked about the the woodcutter thing? Someone asked about that earlier. Oh, the texture's still missing. Um, but if you put wood planks in it, then you can choose the table or the chair that you want. Some of them are too fancy; they don't look like Minecraft. Uh, but the basic chair and the basic table and even the simple chair are all pretty good. All right. Uh, I am going to take a second here and just like re reorganize my inventory a bit. Double deep slate. I don't know that we need all these tiles, but we, um, we often get caught out without the deep slate tile wall. That's a tile. At those. Are we out of the cracked? Yeah, we're out of the cracked. We should probably take a stack of these, turn them into bricks. and go turn them into a smelted, smelted uh, crack bricks. Sings the tidy up song as Joel tidies up. There's a song. I am going to scoot away on an early break, mainly because I want to shut the window, 
and I'm going to let those cook so we have more cracked deep slate bricks when we get back. If you're new to the channel, I do take a break once an hour and uh, gives me a chance to zap my coffee. You should grab a snack, grab a friend. We'll be right back.
Coming back from a break, Devin Scarato with 10 gift subs going out to the community. That's incredible. Thank you so, so much. If you received a gift sub, make sure you thank Devin and Chad. And connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. Because then you can join us in the Discord. Some of you may already be part of a Discord. I see that Brock, you got a sub, which means you can join my Discord as well. I meant to mention this the other day as well, Brock, but uh, thanks so much for the support on the Spawn Chunks. Always great to see you in, in that Discord as well. And uh, that pushes up up over 150 subscribers. We haven't been up over 150 for a while. So thank you ever so much, Devin, for keeping the channel going. Much appreciated. And my chat needs to scroll. There we go. Ping the net. And I think I saw you in, in uh, Discord as well just now. For those wondering, uh, you can get a... Um, subscription access to the the uh, discord uh, via twitch gift sub tier one sub or prime gaming sub as well as uh, patreon.com slash joel duggan and you can access the discord that way patreon's probably the most affordable so for people that are tightening their budgets after christmas then check out patreon you join today with the help of cosmic dancer cosmic dancer is very handy like that they will bring you in and show you around and then say, welcome, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm teasing. Don't do that at all. All right, so we were working on, I'm just gonna leave these open for now. We're working on this wall, right? And this wall, now this connects all the way up here and I think that looks a lot better. I think we're probably going to do well you know what we'll leave that there we'll leave that like that we can still do a stair here Now, does that look funny up top? A little bit. I may... Oh, of course that's visible. Darn it. I think the better solution here is just to not have any any tough on this part of the wall. Maybe we can squeeze one in here. Yeah, that looks okay. Well, that makes that part easy. I guess we could bring it in lower, couldn't we? Yeah, that balances out a bit. Nope. 
All right, so then we've got to get some trap doors for windows. And then we'll do like a double, maybe like a double trap door here. I was gonna say when the space like five years I've said, welcome in, you're on your own. <laughs> no, you you don't do that. Uh, I need more trapdoors. Pro moderator is an understatement ping. Understatement of the year. Or I should say the five years that they've been moderating. Okay. We'll have to figure out something in here to make this look good. Chances are there's going to be stuff piled up against the wall anyway. This is going to be a dark oak door. I'm going to put it this way. For anybody wondering, the, the way that I make this decision with which side to put the door on is that when I open the door and I think about which direction I'm probably going to want to go, it's probably going to be towards this side of the room. And so I don't want the door to be in my way. So if I was opening and I was going this way, I don't want to go up against the door. I want to go away from it. I think just naturally in Minecraft, you kind of, you want to squeeze to the side here. So you kind of want to go that way. So that's... That's why I put those decisions in that order. So like, same thing here, like chances are you probably want to go downstairs, but you know, here you'll probably want to go upstairs. Unfortunately here, you've got, you've got to go both ways, but more than likely you'd be going upstairs. I think here more than likely you'd be going downstairs. But it makes more sense to have them on the same same side for my brain consistency anyway. You really can see so much more without this bottom. I wonder if this would look better if there was a, if this shutter was on like the bottom block outside. Yeah. I think that might be better because then just visually inside you'll be able to see more. Better view. Plus it looks cool. I like that you put so much thought in the doors. See, that's the thing. I find that... Um, that's just my logical brain needing that kind of a thing. Um, but I think that something else that's nice about, uh, about that is that like, if you're ever stuck, 
for what to do or how to do it in Minecraft, then like having those kind of rules, I find can really help your your creativity, you know? Like you just if you get stuck, you can just just do the thing that you know makes the most sense from a function standpoint. Having little design rules like these um these over the window, over the door sort of things. Um now here it doesn't really much matter. I'm gonna say we're gonna put the door over here. Just because if you're coming in, there's a chance you're probably gonna want to head down the stairs. So do that. And then I think what we'll do here is okay, so we can't layer that. It'll just be flush. And you can't see that anyway. Not sure if that's going to look good. The way that shadows hit trapdoors and stuff in this game is not my favorite. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. How do I want to handle this? I think we might go shutter on top and then oak door on the bottom. Otherwise, it's just going to be that kind of a look, which completely blocks your view. That probably looks dumb from outside, but we'll see. I was supposed to be going downstairs. <laughs> Which, with logical thinking like that, it makes your eye twitch when Somerville... Uh, oh, I hear you. Run away. I got too caught up with what I was doing at night. We definitely got a couple of dark spots because... Most of it is spawn proof, and so we're getting a lot of spawns, which means that there's somewhere there's a dark spot that's just like pumping out creepers and skeletons. It seems to be abnormally high in terms of creeper spawning. I don't know why that is. Where? Oh, you saw me. Come on this way. Lazy dog not doing anything. Follow me, friend. Sorry, I was talking about Cosmic's comment about Somerville. Visit Somerville, nothing makes any kind of sense than just to put like that because I'm lazy. Well, no, I think I think that there's a time and place for this kind of thinking in Minecraft. You don't have to do it this way. I wanted to look at this. Yeah, that looks okay. 
I don't think I'm going to put in the oak door. The oak door, I think, is going to be too bright. So I know I didn't finish texturing one of these walls, or two of these walls. And this could actually have more structure to it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe we'll make it bricks. Now I know technically this is the door to the outside, but I think a basement door is going to be more of the not fancy kind. And I don't know what we're doing for floor down here yet, so we'll go with polished. You can use it to kind of help frame people's view as well, right? If you come out here, I, I would rather a player be facing a little bit this way. And so by having the door here, you, they're naturally going to come through and kind of like turn to the right a little bit. Which I think is cool. And so that is that. And we'll do... This feels very square in the bottom left here. So, like that. Yep, that's better. Sometimes the smallest changes on these low resolution textures make a big difference. can't decide if you like or hate the mud sound. Mm. I'm okay with the footsteps on it. I see what you mean though. It feels a little high-pitched. I think I like I think I like the mud brick sound better. Very heavy on the mud over here, didn't we? I'm 
wondering if this place could would look good with like also having a brick a brick door Although I'd probably switch this around either way. Yeah, I like that. So here's a really good example. We're not going to go that way. We're definitely going to come into the room that way. You want your door hinge on this side here. Now these are just little things that I think about, but I think they can sometimes make a difference. that's the basement all textured except for the floor and this could honestly end up being a dirt floor um although i saw i saw a pattern that scar did on hermitcraft today when i was catching up on some of his videos and i really liked the combination of andesite and just plain stone might be a little bit too bright and cheery down here. Not terrible, but I think it doesn't doesn't match the house. Doesn't match the house. We might end up making it all like cobblestone or something. Cobblestone and tough. That could work actually. A little on the dingy side. Some of these doors we're gonna have to replace anyway, because of course we're placing them down before we're thinking about what's underneath them. I guess I could probably do that now with this one. Does look like a creepy door to a dark basement, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a nice combination, I agree. Um, I think, honestly, something like that. So take a good look, like stone and andesite kind of like mished together randomly, maybe with a little bit of other andesite in it, I think could make a really good road texture for the west entrance here. I think if this was more fancy, it could work well. And then that ties in with all the andesite that's in here. So it's a long stretch, so we can do a piece of it and see what it looks like. Karami says tough decisions. Yes, there's always tough decisions in Minecraft, especially when you're working with tough. I see what you did there. This is also a no. Uh, I like the outside, but I don't. I don't think I like the inside stone bits here. I might want to change this to be the dark oak, maybe. Also, that's not supposed. See, there was a door on that. <laughs> All right, so I think the next thing to do is going to be that's all the textures, right? 
Yeah, that's everything. So it's just the floors now. So we've got the top, top floor is good. That's done. And that's staying. Yeah, that's staying cobble. And that's so this. So it's the floor here, which also happens to be the ceiling here. Now the good news is I've given myself a full three blocks here, and I think I have three and a half up here. Two, three. Yeah, more than that. Three and three and a bit. So Yeah, three and a half. So there could be a combination of logs here. We're going to switch modes from stone mode to to wood mode. Door, 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 door. And those. I think that's everything. So one possibility, I mean, I do like the idea of this having a stone floor here, but this could easily be wood. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I would like to do is keep, this is solid. Oh, wait a minute. The rafter, yeah, so that the ridge pole goes that way. Oh, that's even easier. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, that's simple. I'm just realizing that we didn't change any of these. I have to go go back and get more deep slate. That's annoying. All right, so we could do dark oak. I'm thinking dark oak and spruce. That combination. Because otherwise it's going to be too dark in here, I think. We could also go the other way because the planks are going the other way. So we could have another go this way instead.
It's the kind of thing that kind of looks good with a crossbeam, too. So maybe we do like a pattern on it. I don't think I've done that before. I think having these in helps with the direction of the planks. Uh, no, Cosmic, thank you. Yeah, I've got I've got tons of tons of deep slate, which I'm sure I just came and took from you <laughs> the last time I asked. I think that looks pretty cool. It's more about what it looks like on the first floor. Because this is not going to be divided into any rooms. This is all going to be one, one room. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get away with a trapdoor because I think there's going to be too much of a difference in thickness. Yeah, that's fine. It's broken up enough, I think, that it doesn't feel like the planks are too much of a repeating pattern. There's no more than two of them together at a time. So maybe that informs how we treat this top part. Although, I don't think I want planks in that position. No. But as long as our parts are lining up, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it gives some depth to the ceiling and makes the place feel, feel fancier. I just need to go get some more uh, cobbled deep slate. couple spots where we had bricks in the wall previously that were covered up by the floor and by removing them we've exposed there we go Normally, if this is one block higher, we could hang lanterns from these and it would look awesome, but not quite there yet. We could try to see what a barrel looks like. But I've got a funny feeling that this is going to be too, too light compared to the dark oak log. Yeah. Works great with spruce, not, not the dark oak. I feel like depth can help something look fancier, but also dingier. Well, in Minecraft, you get more shadows. So the, the roof appears like a darker color when you've got more geometry going on. Something I really want to do in future builds, I might try to do it with the keep when I revamp the keep is uh, when you have really high ceilings, it's cool when the Minecraft like light just renders into darkness. It goes into that faux shadow, you know, the fog of like the, the game fog. Visual fog. Um, I don't want to dive into it right after finishing West Hill because it's another kind of medieval fantasy type place. But I'd love to do kind of like a Mines of Moria type look with the columns that go up and up and up into the blackness like that would be so cool. I did a test in um, in the nether, the Blackstone Hall. All right, now in here, we want to fix some of these connections so that they're not loading in space. That's already got one. Uh, that needs one. Now this, I think we can probably turn into a closet. If we take this and do that,
closet approved. And I think maybe here I can get away with something a little bit beefier. Although maybe a slab instead. And then stair. No, you know what? Trapped door it is. Too close to the head. A bit too close to the face. Didn't feel right. Cosmic cares. Thanks. Yes, uh, I'm gonna go for a little bit. I want to kind of get get this to a nice finished point. Now we do unfortunately have the center of this. This will help it feel like you can't fall off, even though you you totally still can. And then I don't think I want to put one there. Oh, that's not bad. And then we've got to double check the bottoms of all of these. That needs one there. That needs one there. That feels pretty solid, I think. We'll go back up and double check. <laughs> don't want to hit your hair to brush the ceiling no i think it's just it's probably a mental thing for me because like i'm six foot one so like i notice this kind of thing i absolutely notice that kind of thing when i'm in a building space this feels strange and the only solution i can think of would be to put that there and make this very narrow not bad consistent anyway all right so that's there oh missed one good that's good i just don't like the corners connecting i prefer a, a face to connect Cool. Okay. That part's done. So then it's just a matter of deciding what to do with the floor in here. And there's, I just realized there's also no chimney. Like we don't have any fire happening in this place. Maybe that's what we can do on the second floor instead of a in, instead of a door here and a balcony. Maybe we put a chimney here. Hey, Jody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Oops. I feel like this has come together pretty quick. Chimney could add some emphasis in the height. Yeah, there needs to be something. There needs to be something. I don't think that balcony is what I want. And the, the chimney would help break that up too. Although we're missing a block, I just realized. Because then we could have a, a fireplace on 
the top two levels. Yeah, I think we could probably just fit a two-wide chimney there. It would cover up the window, unfortunately. Unless we put it in the corner. Which we could do. All right, let's scrap this idea. Well, whatever we do, it's not going to be gray. It's going to have to be something dark. We'll probably use the bricks. That's why I thought it might be better to incorporate it into the uh, corner of the building. So just from a shape perspective. What if it was like here? That's kind of unique. I think I like that. Let's um let's go get some back to deep slate. Oh, I need to get, I need to get my, um, crack bricks. Oh, I forget about those. One of these days, if it starts to align in such a way, if we ever, ever meet, we need a picture together because I'm four foot eleven. <laughs> Next to six one would be hilarious. <laughs> yep, a teeny tiny boss mod. <laughs> That's funny. So I actually quite like this too thick thing. Because then we could put, be challenging, but we could put like a, feels funny next to that, but we could put a, a blast furnace or a regular furnace in the corner here with the stovepipe. It won't make much sense there. Useless rogue, welcome to the conversation. And uh, that's a great way to kick it off. <laughs> Can't believe I've never chatted in stream before, but I'm going to take the opportunity to call Cosmic out for being an awesome human. Nice. Well played. Well played. Now, does that look good? Or do we have to find yet another 
brick that I don't have in Minecraft that would look better there. It almost looked better as stone. Because it's hard to tell the difference when it's deep slate. That's annoying. I wonder if cobble would look good. You know, cobble's not bad. We'll, we'll change the bottom parts. Cosmic Dancer gift a tier one sub to useless rogue. Thanks so much, Cosmic. Really appreciate that. So now, useless, you can really join the conversation. Uh, Ping the net just joined, so you can be um, Discord member number two today, if not more. I'm not sure if anybody else has joined since my last break, but. Uh, by all means, use your uh, gifts up to have access to my Discord channel. Server? Discord server. It's called server. What do we do when we get up here to the roof? Do we start to like snake it sideways somehow? Something I'm trying to get past is being a little bit too literal with some of this stuff. Sometimes having a nice windy um, chimney is, is fun. Maybe even pile some firewood up there. We'll have to use some stairs to maneuver it around a little bit, but I think it'll work. Maybe we'll push it out before it gets to that point. I like that. It's a, that's a good addition, I think. Plus, it doesn't block that window on the bottom floor.
right, so we'll go get some stairs. Uh, do we get auto kicked from the Discord when our subs expire? There is a grace period with Twitch, and you will see your name in Discord remove uh, the role. So you'll change to a white role instead of, uh, I think it's purple for Twitch. Uh, and then after that, um, there's a real good chance that you end up being resubbed or something um, because it's like a five or six day grace period. And I'm, I stream more than once in a six day time frame. So there's a really good chance that people, cause people tend to wait to resub until I'm live, which I appreciate. Um, but then after that, uh, once a month, usually on the fifth of each month, I go through and I, um, I call the discord and just remove people that don't have roles. Cause sometimes they're gift subs that don't get renewed. And sometimes people just don't think about it and um, Twitch nor discord will send you a reminder. So, you know, I can see how it would slip people's mind. Um, but then with Patreon, Patreon will remove the role, but it won't kick you. You won't get access. So I have to manually re um, remove people from that, that have a Patreon where they've, they've decided to not support anymore. What did I want? I've got stairs. Yeah, I got I've got the things I need. Oh, walls. I want walls. Yeah, and if anybody has any questions about support, about the tiers, about anything like that, um, you can either hit me with a a tweet. You can I mean I can talk about some stuff here, but I can't talk about all stuff here. Or I just, I tend not to, you know, get too sidetracked. Um, but I'm pretty transparent about, like, how I get paid and all that kind of stuff. Because I think that's important. All right, so this is going to... I think we're going to push it over. And have it come out down here. And if you're in the Discord, then you can you can just like DM me in Discord. Or ask in a chat room. I mean like depends on how people are comfortable chatting and whatnot. It's probably going to look really bad. Scaffolding everywhere.
uh speaking of that remember how someone gifted me a patreon membership i'm pretty sure it was meant at the end of the year but it's not connected to my patreon account i didn't automatically remove the role oh um yeah that's weird normally i have that stuff written down You can always DM me about it later, Sonic. Mm, that doesn't look super good. That looks really unbalanced. That's right. We'll lower it. I think I know what I want to do. Yeah, people can decide to um, can decide to sub however they want. Oh, I had polished on me. Crap. Um, and that's the beauty of it. Like one of the things I'm trying to do this year is offer more ways for people to support, or as in as many ways as I can. That way, people can just pick the one that they're most comfortable with. I mean, I appreciate all of it, of course. Um, but you know. One thing that's that I'm noticing is that certain platforms take take much bigger cuts than other platforms, and that to me is um, it's worth noting, right? Because at some point you have to you have to look at this stuff like you know you're well not like you're running a business but because you're running a business you have to look at them from a business like look at some decisions from a business standpoint okay well this might be the easiest but is it, is it the best business decision that I could make right now Oh, I forgot that there was tough in the wall. All right, we'll switch it back. We could, we may even pull that down one more. Oh, I thought I took off in time. A little bit better. Uh, with subs you set up via something like PayPal, it comes out automatically every month and you'll get a message in chat to share your resub that you can cancel any time on twitch uh on twitch subscription tab with subs you set up via something like paypal it comes out automatically every month oh you mean subs to twitch right because we've got i've also got the ten, the um streamlabs donations have a monthly option for folks that are thinking like i'd just rather send joel support uh, I'm not worried about any kind of um, like discord access or things like that because some people just don't have time um, to participate so 
with that, um, that's a PayPal thing. And that's, that's the lowest, I think, cut because like for like a five or like a, a $10 pr um, prime sub, I think I see like $9 and 37 cents or something like that. It's, it's high because PayPal only takes like 2% plus a 20 something cent charge for processing. Canadian, I should say. Um, but yeah, with Twitch subs, PayPal will give you a heads up. Um, I do mean Twitch. Yes. Yeah. I, I knew you. Uh, yeah. Once I kind of read what you were talking about. I know what you mean. Um, Patreon. I don't know whether Patreon gives people a heads up. The one thing that I support on Patreon, I pay yearly for. So like, I only ever see those notifications once a year. Uh, subs via prime. Those don't renew automatically. You need to renew your, those yourself every month. Yes. That's makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That would make sense because like I've had, I've had Twitch subs that come in during the week probably from people that are using PayPal when I'm not streaming, you know, like, and I've not seen the notification. So people don't generally manually subscribe when I'm not live. They tend to wait until I'm live. Right. So I like the look of that. I think it's good enough for now. I wish there was a different texture that we could use, but, uh, this looks funny. So we're going to lower that stair by a block and that should take care of it. But it does help with um, accenting the verticality of it for sure. Unfortunately, we don't really break up. What, what is that? Um, we don't really break up the the gable much, but we'll we'll have to look at doing that. Maybe a window is what we need there. One of the things on my to-do list this year is um, putting in a specific channel in Discord. Um, not that it really makes a big difference in Discord because somebody there is already subbing, but if they're a gift sub maybe that comes in the Discord and you're looking around to see what options are available, I want to list like all the different ways, what the benefits there are, that kind of stuff. I should do it on my website too. That way, Cosmic, we could have something uh, here in chat that we could link to, like, you know, joelduggan.com slash support. And then there just could be a list of, like, you can subscribe here, you can subscribe there, you can get access here, there, and there, that kind of stuff. I think that could be, could be useful. So again, the cobblestone is not my favorite. Um, I may make this a shorter, a shorter chimney. We may have to pepper in some bricks or something to make it look good. Like every once in a while, we might have to have like a actual brick in there. It helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. Uh, we've not done it, uh, the final textures on the tower yet. We just have to add like cracked and things like that. I'm pretty happy with the first pass on the balcony. And the chimney is a good idea. I'm just, I'm struggling with whether or not I like the, um, the texture of it. Uh, this, I don't know if we're going to leave the door there. That could easily just become another window. Um, that's not, so that's not a big deal. We just remove the plate and just make it look just like the one next to it. Uh, and then the rest of the work we did today was all on the bottom here, taking these walls, texturing them all the way up. I'm really happy with this little basement, even though no one's ever going to see it. <laughs> uh, we've got a little closet here in the stairwell. We've got 
an unfinished floor. It ties nicely into the walkway and into the balcony. So I don't know what we're going to do in here. I do really like the ceiling though. That came together quite quickly and nicely. And that takes us up to second floor here where we've got windows at the front. This ceiling is also in. Uh, we haven't sorted the lighting, but there's probably going to be mostly candles in here. Uh, and there's a chance with that chimney outside that we can squeeze in a fireplace in the corner here, maybe. Because the chimney should be like right there. Yeah, it's right there. We might be able to rig something up in here to look cool. Um, but this is yeah, this is really untouched in here. Uh, but most of the work we did today was just dealing with the textures. Uh, we've changed the edges of everything. I still really like the um, blast furnace accents, but I, I much prefer the darker overall theme to everything. And so, yeah, we've got this. This is less of a thing uh, because you can s can't really see much of it. I do want to break these up somehow. So we might try to figure out some sort of supports to run through it, or maybe we'll put a little bit of wood up there so it looks like it's got some accents or whatever, but we'll we'll figure something out. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. I like the little the dark little door here. Um yeah, so this has probably got another two streams, I would say, before it's really finished. Um, but I like the changes and I like the idea. Um, again, this is just a quick sketch, but this vine here on the, on the right hand side. So rather than having a big window here, we decided to go with a small window to line up with the one above it. And then we're going to run a vine up through here and we could even have like a little bit come up that way too. So yeah, this, this could be very, very cool. Um, it's just that vine really feels like it's nestled. The tree and the vine really feel like this is now part of the landscape, which is nice. So we've got, uh, Quite a bit more work in terms of the whole build i would say the house is going to be done in another stream but then we've got the landscaping there and we've got the landscaping over here and then the whole riverbank so yeah there's, there's still quite a little bit of work going into us but uh it's fun because we've got a direction like i'm not really trying to come up with new ideas so much as i'm just honing what's already there and that i find is the fun part and that's where i lose like three hours in the stream no problem um but if you enjoyed this, then uh, make sure you leave a follow here. Check out the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe. They're two free podcasts that I do. You can find them wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, even on YouTube. And uh, tune in tomorrow, 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus 4 for, I think, part 3 of this, 3 or 4 uh, of this build. And until then, I'm going to pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. I'm pretty sure the Tadpole Milk is live. You will enjoy them very much. Be kind, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you next time. And and thank you for all the subs and the questions about support. It's, it's very cool that people are interested in, in asking and asking, and I appreciate all of it because it's the reason I get to do what I get to do. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.